Yes. This is your show today, buddy. I, I, I call this uh, this segment uh, Esoteric Research because uh, that's what you do. So uh, I want to thank you very much for being here, taking the time, and uh, welcome. Thank you for having me. It's, uh, yeah. We have a... Yep, looks live. like we're live. We got a lot we can talk about, a lot. Um, and believe me, I mean, that's what I'm looking for. You were talking about the, uh, the camps. Oh, we, we've got some good stuff on that, real good. And it's funny because it's called the ball report. And what they did was is that they went to these camps back in the 40s and then again in the 90s. And they actually did drawings and everything like that of these camps. Now, the problem with this is, is that you hear all these people saying, oh, well, this grandparent, you know, oh, my grandparents were there, this and that, and it was, it was all horrible. It's like, look, you know, number one, they were work camps. That's number one. They weren't like these slaughter camps or anything like that when they're like, oh, they're laden in the showers. The showers, they had tunnels underneath them, and it wasn't even Hitler that did that. It was the Vatican and these corporations like Volkswagen and Dyson Krupp, um, IG Farben. And what they did was, is that that's how the EU was formed. And now with that being said, a couple of things that you could look up. Well, number one, you could look up Pearl Harbor. Pearl Harbor was not done by the Japanese at all. Nope, it's not FDR, Churchill. Because they all were Jews. Now, when you look at, because when you look at everything, like history repeating itself, well, it's repeating itself in Ukraine right now. Because what Ukraine is, is Ukraine is actually Israel 2.0. And I know a lot of people get all, but I mean, number one, I don't know why people automatically get butthurt when you mention Israel. Like anything bad about, like, that's the one people you can't say shit about, but it's like, well, wait a second. It's like, so we could sit here and make fun of anybody else. You can make fun of Polacks. You can make fun of Mexicans. You can make fun of anybody. But then yet, when anybody says anything about Jew, it's, oh my God, you're, oh, that's it. Done, done. It's like, no, whoa, 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 whoa. You guys are the biggest problem. That's why Israel saved Alaska's. They're in this way deep. I say way deep, way deep. Now, what do is, um, and share screen. Wasn't there also um, a, one of our battleships or boats that got bombed by Israel at the very end? USS, USS Liberty. Yeah, that one. Oh, and you know what? In fact, I'm going to hit that right now because you're going to love who put that on. It was us again. It was Lyndon Johnson. Now, there is a document inscribed the LBJ CIA assassination of JFK, right? I mean, it's, it's lengthy. I mean, it's, we highlight for a reason. So it's, we know what the hell we're talking about. So now with the USS Liberty, what happened there was, let me get to that page. I hate just shoot off the hip and everything like that. Cause that's the one thing that, you know, you, you think about it and it happened on June 8th, 1960. Uh, 67. And what it was, it says, uh, Lyndon Johnson orchestrated an Israeli attack on the USS Liberty. It was supposed to be a false flag operation. And two hours before they started bombing the USS Liberty, they had six loaded B-52s with hydrogen bombs sitting on a tarmac with the engines running at Beale Air Force Base, north of Sacramento, and they were just going to let him go and just fire away. It's called Operation Cyanide. Not good. So technically, I mean, they murdered 34 crew members and wounded 171 additional crew members. Well, when you think about it, if you're going to go out there and you're going to kill all these sailors, Marines, and everything like that, you don't give a damn about any of your people. And, and LBJ did not. I mean... JFK got blackmailed into putting LBJ as his vice president. 
And I think he knew all along that he had it out for him. That's why he was swapped out. That wasn't the real JFK that got shot on November 22nd at all. No. And, and this, this will actually, um, this will actually like stir some, uh, some shit up because um, it's so bad that they had an Israeli ambassador to the U.S. visit the Naval Academy in early 2012. The Navy midshipmen were explicitly told that they could not bring up the topic of the USS Liberty in the Q&A session after the ambassador's speech. Now, why would they not be, I mean, if you have something like that, why wouldn't you be able to ask a question about it? Yeah. And why would you, and they bombed it for like two hours straight, two to three hours straight. They noticed that the American flag was on the ship. It wasn't a gunship. It was just, it was just monitoring the six day war that Israel and Egypt was having. But what they were doing is they were actually going to pin the bombing of the USS Liberty on Egypt. So they were going to roll all those bombers in and just nail Egypt. Because you know Israel's done all the you know, false 11 You've got that um that building that came down in Miami, the one that um McAfee said that uh his 31 yeah. terabytes of information yeah. was in that same building. All of a sudden it just falls down. People are like, oh, it's because the pool and it's like you, you guys fail to realize that um there are people out there that actually put these up for a living, and I was actually one of them, and you're not gonna you're not gonna put the footings in a fucking pool. It's the dumbest thing you could ever say. And how it fell, it's like, wow. So now we have buildings free falling all of a sudden, right? Just like they said, they free fell in 9-11 and everything like that. But then yet, Tower 7 fell and nothing hit it. How's that work? I mean, we have all the... When 9-11 comes up, we have all the patents that they used, especially on the nanothermite, of using two... um, Because we we know what you know nanothermite is is that it's powdered aluminum and powdered rust so you can go anywhere with these two these two um and the u.s army actually put this um the uh the patent in <clears throat> and, and and then now with that because i i had some friends go there and because i was an iron worker and, all that, and they went out there to help them clean up and i talked to one of them when i was out there and he's like you're not gonna believe what we, what we saw out there it was like molten lava or molten iron flowing through the, the streets. It's like nanothermite, it feeds itself, the oxygen to keep it going. Regular thermite don't, because once it comes down, that's it. They bring everybody in, get all the stuff out and clean it up. But the nanothermite, that's, that's a real, real, real nasty shit. Um, I mean, Israel, I mean, I got so much stuff on Israel, it's not even funny. I mean, this pins them, I mean, they're, they're dead the rights to me. I mean, anybody, that's, when people sit here and say that, I mean, there, there's there's nobody that should be, um, that should be uh, like left out of this. Like everybody's gotta be on the table for this. Because then we can sip through and then we can see who's bad and who's good. Because honestly, we don't know who's bad or who's good, even on our side. We're starting to pick through it, but you know, we know Trump's good, but everybody else is like, Ugh. Because on Scribed, I mean, there's, they have plenty of information on there. And how do we know that our government actually has been infiltrated? It's real easy. This page right here, right? And it's, uh, the website is thezog.wordpress.com, right? It says who's buying gun control, anything like this. Now, that's just gun control, right? Who controls America? Now, you have banking finance, mass media, government politics, social engineering, new world order. So when you look at these, I don't know, can you see the full screen or, or is it small? No, no, no we can see it. Okay. So now when you, uh, we can pick anyone, right? Um, you go to, uh, like, who controls, the, we start top, who controls the economy, right? So what they do is they put all the people down and they put, what they are. You know, Ashkenazi Jew, Ashkenazi Jew, Ashkenazi Jew, Ashkenazi Jew, Jew spouse, Ashkenazi Jew, Chinese, Ashkenazi Jew, Mazito, Ashkenazi Jew, Chinese, Ashkenazi Jew, Ashkenazi Jew. I mean, all the way down. You see Jane, this, right? 
Jason, I, I have viewers who don't know what an Ashkenazi Jew is. Can you explain what that is? Uh, they're Nazis. Those are the Nazis. If you notice, the last four letters is Nazi. They're actually the Khazarians. When they have the Khazarian Mafia, the Khazarians are the Ashkenazis. They're not, they have no ties to Israel whatsoever. They never were. They were from Khazaria, which is, the new Khazaria is Ukraine. That's NK, New Khazaria. And now when you look at this and you think about it, like, because when you go through all these names, right, and every one of these, right, and everybody can, you just put in that website, you just go to, and it pull, brings this up, you go to any of them, and what it'll do is it'll bring all the names up, it'll bring a website up, you can go to the website, you can check everything out on them, and then at the bottom of them, it says, like, summary, of the 60 senior officials of the U.S. government, economic, financial, and monetary institutions, 39 are Jews or have Jewish spouses. This is a numerical representation of 65%. Now, if Jews are approximately 2% of the U.S. population, so the Jews are over overrepresented among the senior officials of the U.S. government, economic, financial, monetary institutions by 32.5 times. That's 3,250%. Yeah. That's not a fluke. Because all of them are like this. And that's the, one of the low ones. I mean, when you got like controls big media, right? Ashkenazis, Ashkenazis. Got a couple of white Europeans in there. Same thing. All Ashkenazis. Out of the 12, uh, 12 senior executives of the big six media corporations, nine are Jews or have Jewish spouses. 3,750%. What's, what's this website uh, address? And um, Veronica, could, um, could you do me a favor and put the type this website or copy and paste it into the chat. Yeah, it's I'd appreciate the Zog, T-H-E-Z-O-G -T dot WordPress dot com. And you want to save this site. You want to save it and you want to, ooh. I mean, it's all of these. I mean, you have controls, I believe. I was just trying to explain to a, a Thai friend of mine who's never heard this, exactly what you're talking about who runs america the percentage of um <laughs> i'm not even i don't even want to say the the name that starts with j i'm gonna i, I like a, a, a benjamin no what's his name the, I the small months. hats anyways the guys who wear the small hats oh yeah uh, they make up two percent jason what'd you say the numbers were two percent of the u.s population <laughs> and they represent how, what percentage in the in the U.S. government? Well, like this, the big six media corporation. Six. Um, they actually, out of the twelve senior executives of the the media, the big six media corporations, nine of them are Jews or have Jewish oh. spouses. So that's nine out of twelve. Okay, that's three thousand seven hundred fifty percent. But also, in Congress and Senate as well. Uh, do you have those numbers? Yep. Yeah. Which ones? uh in in the in the government so i remember it's yeah. something like i wanted to say it was something like 60 percent were jewish I do and, white and held dual citizenship by the way israeli oh, yeah. american oh. dual citizen yes a lot of them do and there's a reason behind that too israel does not have an extradition treaty with the u.s so when they brought out the when israel was formed in in the 40s they came up with this law of return. It was like, hey, if anybody's Jewish, they can all come back to Israel and yeah, everybody live hunky dory, fucking butt raping each other, eating little kids. It's fucking great. It's like, what? No, that's no good. No, no, no. And it's the truth too, because it's like, what do they do for Passover? When people find out about Passover, when they put the blood X's over their uh, doors, how much blood do you need to put an X over your door? A lot. That's the whole ever given. When the ever given, when they, when that chick, uh, I mean, you gotta love it. When she parallel parked it in the Suez Canal, there's a reason behind that. Because the, the Delta Force and, and the SEALs, they're behind them in the Persian Gulf and they were gonna come right behind them. And not the Persian Gulf, but was it the Red Sea or something like that and came up right through Suez Canal? Because they're like, uh uh, no, not today, not any day. Because it was packed full of um, Orthodox Christians. That's who these Jewish bastards fucking, that's who they sacrifice. They sacrifice Orthodox Christians. They, they drain their blood and that's what they use. That's one of their holidays. It's like Purim. 
their holiday that that, that they all, you know, they all dress up. As, you know what they dressed up as? They dressed up as twin towers with planes going into them, and they're all laughing about it. I mean, that's cute. I mean, I could take my oven in the front yard and fire it up and be like, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, but it didn't happen. Because all the ovens, th there were no people cooking in ovens over in any of these camps. It's all bullshit. There, it was just typhus. They, they had to burn their clothes and everything like that. And of course, they want to say Hitler is bad. All this. I mean, you could look up the Watsi conference. That's a big one. And I mean, we could go through a bunch of them. And, and it's not like I'm saying all of them. But all these, there's a reason why, let's face it, we had a damn near Chernobyl-esque, uh, not even accident. They literally did that to where? East Palestine, Ohio. Why would they go to East Palestine? Huh? Oh, yeah. Hmm? Because Israel lost their land already to the Ottoman Empire because it was only a 99-year lease. To get the fuck out. That's all Balfour Declaration. But now, because it wasn't even their land in the first place. It was all Palestine, it was Palestine's land. Then you had Britain come up and say, oh, we're going to make it mandatory Palestine. We're going to put it under the British Commonwealth, just like every other country was. Because what happened in the, um, in the year 10, 12, 10, 13, when King John of England, he made the Pope at the time the vicar of Christ. So he made him God in the flesh. So he turned around and said, hey, well, King John, I'm going to go ahead and give you dominion of of all the of all the uh, commonwealths on earth he's like oh shit that's sweet it's like oh you got the spear realm and all that just whatever and you want to do and we'll start collecting all these uh, other lands because why did they have why did they state their claim in um india it's like britain's never fought a fight a fight on their own those whenever they get in a fight they're like hey america you got to come over here and do this right yeah wonder why because we were part of the commonwealth I mean, how, even the Social Security. Social Security is controlled by the crown, controlled by Queen Elizabeth. Well, now she's dead, but it's all controlled by her. Everything's controlled. But yet people cry and bitch, oh, oh socialism. Socialism like said, we, we're a socialist country. Social Security, you have, you know, I mean, it's a form of socialism. But that's what Hitler was trying to stop. Hitler was trying to stop democracy. Democracy is the key in all of this that makes everything go bad because socialism plus democracy is communism and who created communism they did the jews because we have everything well, uh, documented jason, jason going back to um israel um so we know from our bible history right that israel israel was the ancestral home of the jews why did they why why did they leave in the first place well why they get kicked out of uh was it over was it over 1200 places yeah kicked out of, uh 1200 countries cities and all that well back, and the last one back, back back from the time of david right king david they 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 had a kingdom there god gave them a kingdom there. and well uh, i mean uh, and, and well i, I know this is going to roll for feathers guys who wrote the Bible? Who wrote it? In AD 325, the Council of Nicaea. They wrote the Bible. The Romans did. They copied the, they took that from the Enuma Elish and all these other writings way back then. Because so now you got like, okay, they're like, oh, Adam and Eve are here. It's like, okay, so if there were only two people on earth and now we're up to seven billion. Why aren't we walking around with club foot and cleft lips and all fucking retarded? If we're all based off incest, it, it would. I mean, we were seated here. That's it. We were all here. We were all here about the same time, and that's it. I mean, this whole story. Why do you think they call the Bible the greatest story ever told? Because it's just that. It's a story. It's a feel good story because everyone's like, oh, you know, you know, worshiping this. It's like we're not supposed to worship anybody. Nobody. And that's the problem with this. I mean, a lot of people, they, they just, you know, that's why they say in the drop strike, 99% of the people with the, the truth will put 99% of people in the hospital. And we said this back in 2018, early, we're like, they're going to go after their faith, after their religion. This whole thing's a sham. Because they're like, oh, well, yeah, yeah, Jesus is coming back. It's like, 
Okay, sure. Right. So, because the Jays only came about in the, what, what was it, uh, the 1500s and 1600s? Because, I mean, they used to spell, geez, like, I-E-O-U-S, not, not even a J. There was no Js. It wasn't even a letter in the alphabet. And then you have these people translating. It's like, you know, it, everything's lost in translation. And there is a, um, there was an Adam and Eve story unscribed that what they did was, is that they bypassed the Greek, the Hebrew, and all their translations. They went straight from the Nagas to English. And oh boy, is that they had to get scrubbed by the CIA. If you know Israel, they're automatically wanting to start launching missiles towards uh, Iran. They're wanting to get this third world war off, just like Albert Pike wrote to Giuseppe Mazzini back on August 15th, 1871, in a letter outlining all three world wars. Because the third world war was to be between political Zionism and Islam. That's why they framed the Muslims for 9 11. That's why they framed the Muslims for, um, for uh, in 93 for the World Trade Center. They all knew it. I mean, Israel, I mean, they're the ones that even that David Ben-Jurian, the first uh, prime minister of Israel, he's the one that uh, was uh, the first supporter of uh, having JFK taken out. I mean, because of the nuclear weapons, well, the atomic weapons that they had. Because Israel being a nation state, they weren't a country. They're never a country. Because a country would have to abide by the Geneva Convention. That means they have to declare all of their, their weapons and everything. Being a nation state, they get away with everything. So now, America, gotta love this, how our government works. We have all these little secret pacts with uh, Israel. Like, um, remember when NAFTA came about, right? North American Free Trade Agreement, right? And they were bickering all this stuff in the uh, in Congress, right? Couldn't get right. There was one before that. And it was with Israel and everybody let it just sail right through. It cut off all tariffs, everything like that. It just, it left one free flowing, just Israel got to take anything from us. And they never gave anything back. That's why when it comes down to Israel and they talk about like these um, honey pots and how blackmail and everything, it's all done by Israel. Every single bit of this, when they talk about the FBI, which FBI? The FBI in America or the FBI headquarters in Israel? It's the only other place that there's an FBI headquarters that it would even be allowed. So now when we go to Epstein, Epstein has been an FBI informant for the past, what, 15 years. And he was running all these honeypots. He had everybody blackmailed. But he wasn't running the FBI out of America. He was running out of Israel. Because who was his sidekick? Just Lay Maxwell, who her father, Robert Maxwell, was the head of Mossad. He's the one that actually helped with the bombing of World Trade Center in 93. He's the one that got the, the, all the weapons for it, for them to put the bombs in the basement. I mean, you have the Alpha Draconians, the Dracos, that's what the queen was. And when people okay, wait, you have to explain, you have to explain to people yeah. what these things are. Okay, Alpha draconians. So, okay, so the thing is is that remember when we all went to when we all started in kindergarten, right? And everything, and we said that well, you start out with your brain, you know, you have your, your brain structure. You know, you start out with your reptilian brain. Why would they call it reptilian brain, right? Because it controls like your function, your your most needed function, your breathing, your heat. Um, fight or flight, everything like that. And then you go limbic, then you go, um, what is it? Uh, is it cerebral cortex, then it's, it, and then it goes, there's another one, and then it goes in reverse. Well, in our brain, we have a reptilian mind and a reptilian brain. A reptilian mind is our subconscious. A reptilian brain is our hypothalamus, medulla oblongata, whatever you want to call it, you know, it's, it's our, you know, what controls our daily functions. I mean, even minute by minute functions, second by second. Um, we, how can I say this in, in a way? So by saying that humans are the only ones here on earth, that is one of the most arrogant things anybody could think. Because we think that we're so technologically advanced when we can't build anything now 
that's already been built. Like when you look at DC, can anybody show me where anybody's built anything like the Capitol building, Supreme Court building? Or how about, why don't they finish Crazy Horse? The Crazy Horse Stone Monument out in South Dakota. I mean, you had three guys swinging from, from swings with dynamite and chainsaws and hammers. And look what they did with Mount Rushmore. I'm like, you're going to tell me that a couple of guys did that? No. No, 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 no. We have been so dumbed down and so indoctrinated and just our DNA has been so depleted that we have all of these, I mean, we have all these special powers within us that we can actually do this. Like we don't need oil companies. We don't need power companies. There's free energy everywhere. Everything's energy. We're energy, children energy, everything's energy. But yet we have to say, oh, you have to pay the power bill. It's like, it's dumb. They're harvesting, they're using all the free energy, they're harvesting all the free energy and then just billing us for it. All they're doing. So now when we talk about like who's in on this, you know, you have the Alpha Draconians, which they're like the the like the top lizards, and they're from the uh from another completely different star system, like uh well, Alpha Draconia, Alpha Draconis. And when you listen to these people talk about laws. They always talk about draconian laws. There it is. It's all draconian. And remember the movie, uh, They Live, with Rowdy Rowdy Piper, when he put on the glasses and he sees right there. Everything's in these movies. V and V, the final battle back in the 80s. I don't know if you guys remember that. But they were they look like humans, but then they were reptilians and they were eating my, white mice and white rabbits. Yeah, It was tripping everybody out. Now back to the V. You're gonna love this because I mean, of course we're gonna bring we're gonna, glasses. I never heard about that. Because of course, you know, V the TV series 2011. Ah. That's a newer one, right? But then you look at this. It's like, what is it? Is a key? That's what you want the belly of the whale. I mean, there's little like comments that they did during these whole like V 1983 is when it came out. Well, well like don't worry, Abraham. It's not like your family are scientists. You're not involved in this wall book soon. That's what I thought back in 1938. What happened then? You know, the whole fucking mm -hmm. hoax. Because you could tell by the name, Bernstein. Oh, but what's different? Because it, wearing a visitor's friend's uniform, is it? Remember, the, the uniforms they had was a V, a red V on the back. Mm -hmm. yeah. So now they right. talk about they have a bunch of quotes and everything like that. But here's the kicker, right? This. The leader wants them living. Some of them will be made into troops for battles with this enemy. And others, in addition to the water, there's another basic shortage on our planet. Food. Food. I mean, right there. I mean, they've been telling us the whole time. I guess you always said it couldn't happen here. And one day we woke up and we're living in a fascist state. <laughs> Welcome to America, right? I mean, people are like, oh, no, we're not fascists. Like, look at the House of Representatives. You have the fascists right on the wall. What do you think that symbol's for? Fascist state. I mean, like that. You, gotta love you know, some people. Uh, some people say, um, Jason, that we should not watch these types of programs because um, it's it's uh, what's program. What's it called? Uh, programming. programming. And also, you're somehow giving your. What, what's it called again? Predictive programming, like you're making it manifest. Pr predictive. Yeah. predictive programming also by watching it it means you're giving your consent however if you watch it being aware of what they're doing you can say hey i don't consent and it's 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 like getting a peek at their playbook yeah. you know this is oh, yeah. they're giving you their playbook you have the yeah. opportunity through television and movies i've heard janine say this and and i was saying this a long time ago i do research when i'm watching these programs I'm doing research, and I suggest uh, other people do that as well. Just, just make it a conscious thing that you say, "I recognize this is their plan, and I don't consent to it, and uh, I'm doing this because I want to know what they're planning." Exactly, and also, I mean, we went through, you know, went through the whole movie, the whole plot, and everything like that. Remember, like the visitor center, it was in L.A., right? They talk about small craft. He finds a small gold object. Object looks like a key, and I mean, it's 
this movie, it's almost, it is technically like real life. And I'll skip because the whole conspiracy plot, I mean, because we could spend hours on this and we got much, much other things to talk about, but other things we did, right? So, plot keywords, right? 40 plot keywords in V in 1983. So, just decided to start check, checking the ones off that we've been talking about, right? And this was a couple years ago we did this. Reptilian, human versus alien, 1980s, alien disguised as human, alien technology, spacecraft. And then you got these. I mean, close kind of the third kind, concentration camp, Los Angeles, cancer cure, war correspondent, conspiracy, United Nations, Nazi, extraterrestrial, genocide. I mean, really? It's like, okay, yeah, this, this makes a lot of sense. This is back in 83. And also, 1983 added up. It's a 21777. So you got to love that. Mothership, television reporter, fascism, water. Watch the water. I mean, it's all here. Uh, how about this one, right? Crazy credits. Two credits, right? To heroism of the resistance fighters, past, present, and future. This work is respectively dedicated. Come on, man. I mean, don't. <laughs> don't, don't think that we're this stupid. And also, V, the final battle. So the other one scored a 7.7 out of 10. This one also scores a 7.7 out of 10. And 6203, that's an 11. What, what more do you need? What, I mean, I mean this, they're, basically, they're telling you basically go watch this show. So everybody out there, if you haven't watched watch this, both the old one, the 80s one, and the, the other one. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is the old one. I mean, yeah, it doesn't have like the CGI or anything, but I mean, it's it, it's pretty. Uh, yeah. Listen, how about this? The small group of visitors who have formed a secret fifth column among the fleet. Where have we heard that for, from, right? right. Yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, you tell me, right? right. I mean, it's all right here. I mean, there's so many different things here and a big hospital event i mean this unless while they prepare their mission robert maxwell's daughter robin robert maxwell robert maxwell oh robert maxwell i will say hmm they even had his name into this oh unless how about this robert maxwell and a new member father andrew Why don't just change it to Prince Andrew? Wouldn't that make a lot more sense? You tell me. I mean, we're, we're just the dummies that look this stuff up and just, it, it's all right here, right in front of our faces. Like you have a conversion process. Extreme sensory overload and hypnosis to convince Julie that her greatest fears surround her and that Diana is the only being she could trust. I mean, yeah. They're destroying a large water intake plant. I mean, a new resistance headquarters is set up in an abandoned movie ranch. What else is held at another abandoned movie ranch? Wouldn't that be Tyler Perry's White House? I think so, right? I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's it, all right. Like, they even call him the fifth columnist. I mean, all this stuff, is, you could read all this stuff and just see the, the parallels. I mean, it's just like, this is just insane enough to make sense. Jason, did you do all this uh, research on this V or did, is somebody else's work? I, I did. Yeah, just, um, you, have you ever had done one for Doctor Who? Uh, oh, Doctor Who? Doctor Who? Yeah. I've, I've never watched Doctor Who. Okay, if at some point you have some time, I suggest go back and watch Doctor Who. Go all the way back to the uh, the sixties when it began, and uh, so Doctor Who's another one. Um, they talked about reptilians underground. It's, anyways, I, I highly recommend Doctor Who. It's very campy, the um, like the special effects and everything, but the writing, at least the old ones. 
um, were really good. And then the 2000 ones were good. <laughs> but then it got woke and they, they made the new Doctor Who a, a woman. And it's been it's been trash ever since. Sorry. Sorry, ladies. But the, the woman Doctor Who is awful. I know there's a lot of people going to agree with me in the chat right now. I just like. Just like when they remade Ghostbusters, they made a bunch of women. Go, don't don't tell me shit. Don't don't tell me do it. It's all these you know you know they want to you know I have no problem with empowering people, but then they're doing they're, they're empowering women for a reason. Because when you're empowered, you're like yeah, it's me, it's me. And then you keep your eye off the kids. Guess what? They swoop right in. You have the kids. They don't care. Good point. You know, and just like the, how about this quote, huh? John and Diana. We've never had a John and Diana in this whole thing, have we? <laughs> yeah, a bunch of them. A crown. It's yours now, Diana. Enjoy your reign. Walk away, queen of a poisoned realm. I mean, think about John, like JFK Jr., JFK, Diana, Princess Diana. Hmm. Don't say. The names are in here. Even the, the girl. Uh, what is it? Uh, she's born like this. Robin's human child, who she named Elizabeth, is growing at a rapid rate. She's the size of a toddler after only a few weeks and molts her skin like a reptile. <laughs> Elizabeth. <laughs> I mean, a trait that soon become apparent in Elizabeth is a predatory nature. It could who, Robin who was, who was the um, punk band in the 70s? Uh... Sex pistols, and they oh, said Latin. the queen was a reptilian. Hell yeah, huh? yep, that was oh, in the 70s. Yep. Oh, yeah, or maybe it was the 80s. I, I might be wrong, but am I right? Um, yep. Jason, the sex pistols, yep, Elizabeth Maxwell. <laughs> I mean, this is just, it's not just, and it's like peace. It is not our destiny. For them, no. Peace is never their destiny. I mean, it's just... I mean, it's it's utter madness. I mean, and that's it just... There's so much of this that it's... It's all around us. You just have to open, open your eyes. But yet, let's face it, nobody wants to go after the little hats because the funny thing is, you got the Vatican, they wear them. And the other ones, they wear them. It's like, well... How about the black cube that uh, a lot of them wear? They cover up their pineal gland. No, like doing it. And then you got That's the. Yeah. Can we just please just stop this shit right now, and just say you guys lied about everything, and we want the truth right now. Because if you're not going to give it to us, we're going to find it, and when we find it, all of your asses are grass. And that's what they're doing. They're taking every one of these pricks out because they had a chance to level with us, and they didn't. But yet. You know, we talk about all oh, terrorism. I mean, it's like, oh, we have to go. I think we're gonna have a whole, a whole new way of governance in the other in the world. It's it the whole thing. It, the, everything's got to get just completely just stripped down and build back up. But that's what we're gonna be doing. Is that all of us? Because. In the government, they're going to have um, everybody's going to have to serve in the government. So it's not one of those that, oh, this person's going to be lifer in there. And it's like, you know, because if everybody, if everybody serves in the government, then you'll know it's like if this person's screwing up or that, you can talk to somebody and say, hey, well, what do you think of this? It's like, well, let's go have a talk with them instead of saying, hey, let's just go ahead and just assassinate him or something like this. Like, hey, kind of fucking up right now so you know we're here to help it's like because you want you want to make sure that you know everything's running like a well oiled machine but then you know you get these people in there for 30 40 years they get deeper and deeper pockets and they just start getting all they have this power trip and they just feel that you know they're there for they're there for life and no you know like instead of giving one person the power it's like have like a group of people you know, and don't have it all stationed in D.C. You know, you like they're talking about split up in quadrants. Like that wouldn't be a bad idea. You know, then you actually have people living in the areas that they're representing. So if you know if they have to go, you know, take votes or whatever, they just have to go to one central spot in that um, uh, 
I guess you say they're quadrant or whatever. And then when you have like bigger things that you have to talk about, then, you know, you could either bring it to everybody and let everybody vote on it with the blockchain, which is probably the best idea there, but that's going to be the only way. Cause I mean, nobody gets this voting right and nobody can hack it. It's not like you have to be like, oh, okay. I can't go vote. It's like you get it, you go and walk out of the house like I ain't going. I just don't feel like it. It's like, just let me know and we'll have you back whenever. Sounds all good. Right? Because this all is right. your show. And oh, it's uh, your show. we're just we're all here together. I like that. Well, okay. But thanks everybody and uh, I'll see you next week. Bye bye.